So story time, when I was a little baby nurse, probably around 22, 23, I was pulled to a unit that wasn't my home unit, right? And sometimes when you're pulled to a unit that's not yours, they may give you report on a patient that's a frequent flyer or just a patient that has been there a really long time. And sometimes they miss pieces because everybody on their unit is used to this patient, but you're not. So they miss some information, okay? So I go into this patient room. Now, mind you, she couldn't speak because she had a stroke. But when I go into my patient's room, the first thing I do is clean you because I like working in a clean environment and I'm not giving you meds while you, while you soiled. You're not about to do that. We're going to make sure you're fresh and clean for this shift. So I turn her to go clean her up and something falls out of her, something that I've never seen before and I don't know what it is. And now I'm thinking that she's giving birth to something and I'm terrified. So as a nurse, I am trained to give poker face but I also don't know if this is an emergency and I'm scared. So the first thing I do is, ah, somebody come in here. I don't know what this is. Hold on, wait, help, <laughs> call the people. So I'm trying not to scare her too much. And then she can't talk to me, but she also was super calm. So now I'm concerned because why are you calm? This something just fell out of you, you know what I'm saying? And then if you got a weak stomach, this might not be for you, but the, it looked like, an org like a thing like something that was supposed to be inside right but then it was patchy like kind of like the underbelly of a dog and i'm not saying this lady parts of like a dog but she the underbelly of a dog you know how sometimes they're like brown and pink spotted that's how the, the flesh looked of it so i'm like hold on what is that and you know I, I i know what textbooks say but i know this, this this i don't know if i knew that it was gonna look like that when it came out so the nurse is coming in, they're like, ha, 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 they're laughing at me. They're like, oh, she has uterine prolapse. They didn't tell you that? No, they ain't tell me that. And what you laughing for? I'm in here having a panic attack, and you tell you over here laughing, walking out the room talking about it's a uterine prolapse. Like, that's the end of the conversation. What do I do with it? Do I put it back in? Do I leave it out? Do Is it sterile? Do I use sterile saline? Do I wipe it? Do I pat it? How am I supposed to clean it? Do I use soap and water? Do I tell her to cough? Do I tell her to do a kegel? Do I tell her to inhale? How do I get it back in? And is it supposed to just stay out here like this? What am I supposed to do? Meanwhile, the lady is sitting here calm, and I... All right, all right. I let the doctor know. The doctor like, oh, we're aware. I said, all right, cool. All right, long as everybody aware but me, the person that... <laughs> See, and this is how you know that God work in mysterious ways because they was laughing at me, but I needed that lesson. Lessons like that help you save lives later. So boom, a couple weeks later, I have a male patient. I go to turn him because you know I clean my patients as soon as I get them. I go to turn him. He, something drops out of his butt so i'm like hold on i just experienced this no you're not gonna laugh at me again i'm gonna call the people because something ain't right and this i feel like this is more of an emergency so he wasn't in pain or anything but he was like what's wrong and i said i'm not sure i'm gonna call the doctor because one thing i know i know when to call the people so i called the doctor and i said hey he's he i think he has rectal prolapse and is bleeding i need you to come to the bedside right now i'm gonna call a rapid response because i don't feel comfortable something's not right he comes to the bedside right away he says we have to rush him to emergency surgery because he has rectal prolapse but here's the thing let me <coughs> okay cool so when you have uterine prolapse it's a little different. One, you can remove a uterus. That's number one. Two, the, you, the, the your parts down there is not as tight. You know what I'm saying? So when you, your uterus come down, it can go back, come down, come back. We'll do all that. Whereas a rectum, a rectum is tight. Well, I can't even make my finger. Y'all know what a butthole look like. A rectum is tight, right? So if your rectum comes out of your butthole, the, 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 the sphincter, it's so tight that when your, when your rectum comes out, which is basically like the parts of your intestines come out, it can get strangled to the point where it gets no blood and becomes ischemic or gangrene and then you got a real problem and then you need emergency surgery so don't let nobody chump you because anything that you don't know is just a lesson for the future and it might be a lesson for when you really need it because that first the uterine prolapse wasn't an emergency in that moment but that rectal prolapse was an emergency and my quick little you know fingers to call the doctor is what saved that patient's life and let this be a lesson to new nurses. Your first job is to always know when something is not right and when you need to call other people to help you because you, you may need help in fixing what's not right. Your job is not to know everything, but your job is to know when something's not right and that you need help. So don't let nobody ever shame you in needing help or thinking that something is an emergency when it's not. I would rather you think it's an emergency and call the others than sit there looking all cocky and arrogant and something happened to that patient. Call the people, learn your lessons, God bless.
furthermore, if you didn't learn anything from this video, do your Kegels. Men and women, do your Kegels. Just do a little... Just, 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 just pump it. <laughs> do your Kegels. Save a life. Share this video. Sh sh those things that gravity just lets those things fall. So do your Kegels. Share with a friend so they can do theirs too. <laughs>